Invest 98L is about to become Tropical Depression 18 at the current time, according to the National Hurricane Center. You see it, you see what I'm seeing. It has a 90% chance of development. Uh, before we get to that, let's discuss a little bit about P uh, Peter. It's now a tropical depression. It's nothing has really changed. Uh, Rose is still is, is downgraded to a tropical depression. Nothing has really changed there. The four motion has slowed down considerably. Then we have uh, this disturbance right here that appears to have a 30% chance of development in the next 48 hours, 50% chance in the next five days. This is the remnants of Odette. So if that reforms, if that forms again, that might be a little interesting. So I'll be keeping a, a close eye on it, uh, off this, uh, like uh, behind the scenes. So yeah, but the main focus this morning is Invest 98L, which is about to become Tropical Depression 18. It, as you can see, it has a 90% chance of development in the next 48 hours. That's pretty much an almost certainty, and satellite imagery can back this up. As you can see right here, like it's really starting to organize. This is where the center of circulation appears to be. These are just some thunderstorms to the north. Of it. This is where the center of circulation appears to be. So I just want to keep, uh, everyone to keep that in mind when they're looking at this. So, yeah, this could be a tropical depression in the next few hours. But let's first read the advisory the NHC put out at 8, at 8 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, or about. Uh, or about th a little under three hours at the time of recording uh, before this. Showers and thunderstorms continue to get better organized in association with a tropical wave located several hundred miles southwest of the Capo Verde Islands. Environmental conditions are expected to remain conducive for additional development. And a tropical depression is expected to form within a day or two while the system moves, across, uh, moves westward at 10 to 15 miles per hour across the uh, eastern... Uh, in central tropical Atlantic. So the formation chances are now at 90% and 90% for both 48 hours and nine and five days. So yeah, that's a big development right there. And satellite imagery can confirm this, that it is getting very close to becoming a tropical depression. The winds have also strengthened to 35 miles per hour with the system, so that's also not a good sign. Uh, so yeah, uh, so yeah, the, that thunderstorm activity is really blowing up in the northern part of the system, whereas it's thunderstorms becoming more consistent, a little more organized. It's starting to like uh, level off a little bit with the cloud cover. Like this band right here is pretty much disintegrating, which which is uh, which is fine. It uh, systems like this can normally do that. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, the system is looking much better than it did even 12 hours ago so yeah uh, so yeah that's to put that out there let's first do the tracks then we'll get to the intensity tracks next 36 hours having it moving more towards the west and then uh, then a shift towards the west northwest will begin with some models even go, uh, going a little uh, having that that shift a little bit strong a little bit more than others do such as down here so for the next four day, for the next four days, except for the COTI, this thing's going to be just it, pretty. Cons it, models are pretty consistent, and that after that they start to split off. After that, so uh, keep that in mind. So we can confidently say for the next four days, this system's going to move west to west northwest. But after that, it might turn a little bit more. It might stay the same. Heck, it might even. It, it might its turn might even go a little more toward westerly than north west northwesterly. Uh, that's uh, that's how far out this thing is. But the issue uh, I have here is that the NHC has designated this an in, uh, in, no, has, has not designated this like you know a tropical depression. So cones aren't out on this yet. So I can't really cross check these models with that yet uh, with that. But I expect that to to be the it to be. A, depression in the next uh, at least in the next uh, day or so like it could be probably a tropical depression in the next few hours by how this thing is organizing so that's uh, that's what I'm th uh, what I'm thinking it could, it what's really going to decide how strong this is going to get and we'll get to the to the intensity right now is what will happen in the next uh, 6 to 12 hours that's what will decide it and all the models, except for the CTCI, which I am completely disregarding because this hasn't crashed. Uh, the 
uh, the invest crashing in intensity, then surging up to strong tropical strength, then crashing again. So I'm disregarding that. But the rest of the models have it strengthening at least to tropical storm strength. So it's at least going to be a tropical storm. And then even the majority of the models have it going up to hurricane strength, which uh, which uh, two of them keep it at Cat 1, the LGEM and AEMI, while the rest of them have it going up to Cat 2 or even major hurricane strength. So that's a new uh, that's not a new development per se, but it is become it is becoming more likely that this thing is going to be a at least a Cat 2 hurricane at this point at some point during its life. Like well, there are now several models going up to major hurricane strength. I uh, just wanted you guys to keep that in mind, especially down the, especially down the road, which, uh, which even which these tracks essentially are showing like, probably by seven days out, some of these models have it up to a strong cat two, maybe even a major hurricane. So everyone needs to keep that in mind. If you're in the Leeward Islands, I would wa start watching this in. As soon as this becomes a tropical depression, I would start watching uh, this, as this thing has the capacity to rapidly organize and start uh, robustly strengthening as it appro as it is in is very into the tropics. It's sitting around 10 degrees uh, north, which is not that far in retrospect from the equator, so it can definitely fuel off those uh, those waters and those that humid con uh, conducive environment. So. Yeah, back to the intensity. These, yeah, the majority of these models have it going up to hurricane strength. Some of it as er, some as early as uh, yeah, some as early like a lot of them have it going up as early as sixty hours out. So that's uh, something to uh, that's something to watch uh, during the weekend. So yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty much it on the intensity. The only, last thing I want to point out is that is that nothing is off the table. There were a couple of. There was a model, like uh, in the last uh, video, that had it going up to Cat Four strength. That thing that uh, that is not off the table, especially considering what uh, if especially considering how quickly this thing's organizing. And like I said, what happens in the next six to twelve hours will depend on what how strong this will get and how quickly. So, everyone needs to bear that in mind. So anyway. Let's uh, anyway. Let's get to the key takeaways I want you guys to bring from this. First key takeaway: This system is now at a 90% chance of formation. It's almost certainly going to happen, and it may happen in the next few hours. What like, it may happen in the next few hours? What happens in the next six to 12 hours will depend what will happen with the system. I can't. I know I've been saying this like a broken record, but I can't uh, reiterate that enough. So that's the first key takeaway. Second key takeaway. At four days out, the the models uh, are in pretty much agreement that it's going to go west and then more west northwest. But after that, the models have are split a little bit. Uh, some having a, the angle pitched a little more uh, st uh, steeply, while others have it continuing its course. With some even having it uh, going back or in regressing more towards the westerly uh, part of it. So that's the second key takeaway. Third takeaway: nothing is off the table, especially when it comes to intensity. Nothing is off the table. I can't reiterate that enough. Like this thing is going to at least be a tropical storm. Like is likely going to be a hurricane, according to these models. And when the NHC starts putting cones out, I will not be surprised if they have if they put in part of their cone that this thing's going to be a hurricane. I will not be surprised when they do that. Heck, I'd be su more surprised if they kept it at a tropical storm than a hurricane. Like all these models are. In Agreement that this thing is likely going to be a hurricane. So let's hope the NHC. Let's hope the NHC really, you know, uh, really takes that into account. And when they start issuing cones, they update. They update it and put the the basically the system accurately. So the final key takeaway is that this system is organizing quickly. You can see it on satellite radar. The rotation starting to get a little stronger. So. Yeah, I'll be keeping a close eye on it, so be sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for more updates.